up everyone? Happy Halloween! Today is the end of October and we are putting the month behind us. I couldn't be more grateful because this has been a crazy month. In the last few days, again today, scratchy throat. You guys heard about it. On Tuesday, I had this crazy experience trying to rescue a bald eagle. Word to the wise, be really careful if you try to do that. Wednesday, I give CPR to a mountain lion. That's the first time I've ever done that. You have to pinch his little nose closed. That was extremely difficult. It got scratched and he attacked my throat. And then yesterday I said, you know what? I don't want to have anything to do with wild animals. So, you know, I live on the border of New York and Connecticut. So I was like, I'm going to drive down uh, to the Connecticut Harbor to the seaside. I want to watch some boats, you know, watch some boats in the harbor. Just kind of relax, bring things down. It's been a crazy month. So I'm sitting on the dock and I see the US sailing team. They've got their big sailing racing boat for sailboat. And it's going back and forth and they're practicing, doing trials. And then uh, they start to come into the harbor. They're done for the day. And they're coming straight at me, straight at the dock. And they're going fast. And I thought, my God, they're gonna crush me. All of a sudden, at the last minute, the captain pulls the tiller. They drop the sail and the boat slides right into the dock, just perfectly. And at that very moment, a seagull dive bombs and hits me in the throat second time in a week. And the whole crew on the boat, they're all laughing hysterically. It's the funniest thing in the world. And look at me, what luck. Three times in a week being attacked. I'm just happy to put the month behind me. Tomorrow is November 1st. And I couldn't be more grateful. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna finish up here um, up $1,143.25 uh, trading in my uh, retirement account today. The one stock that gave me a nice win was ISEE and everything else was red. I really struggled to find momentum today. Um, our gap scanner this morning was pretty weak. We didn't have anything that looked awesome. Uh, which was kind of disappointing. The um, We had JCS, light volume gapper. Uh, we had CANF, which was did not pan out, um, and a couple others. So CANF, this one, I was watching it for a gap and go, possibly over three. It never broke that level. It faded, and so I, I, I never took a trade. I didn't touch it at all. Um, XNet was continuation from yesterday, and this one looked good to me, um, and I took a couple trades on it. Uh, my first trade was a winner, my second trade was a loser. So the first trade was um, right in this area here on this one minute pullback for the break over six, and then right at six, there was a big seller, it couldn't break, and it ended up dropping back down. Um, which was disappointing, you know, to say the least. I, I was really hoping for better follow through on that. Um, but I gave it a chance um, on uh, a second setup as it was curling back up and then uh, took a, a second. Well, first trade was a small win and then the second trip was a small loss. So but net down uh, on the name, which is disappointing. So XNet, I really thought through here would break through the VWAP. It was going to curl up, snap through the VWAP, rip up to 70, 80, but it couldn't do it. Uh, ZVO, this is one uh, that was also disappointing. Nice clean breakout here from 209 all the way up to 260. And then um, this trade right here where I thought it was a nice ABCD setup. I think the thing on this that I wasn't um, as focused on was um, these big red candles, big red volume candle here big red volume candle here. So that was an indicator of, of possible uh, weakness. And then uh, JCS, this one, oh man, I jumped into it. Uh, first I hit the scanner at 566 and I wasn't interested. Then it squeezes up to six and I'm like, okay, this looks good. I jump in for the break of six and it flushes down. I get stopped out. I then get back in as it rips up for the second break of six. It pops up to high of 621 and then flushes down to 561. So, and then it comes back up here to 622. So this one was not easy at all. Um, I got myself really kind of frustrated with it. But um, overall, um, I suppose managed the loss relatively well in the retirement account. So, you know, kind of trading with smaller size. I did size up a little bit on ISEE 
um, as it um, came up right at this spot here. This is where um, I took uh, my position at 53 and then I added at 60. So I took 2,000 shares, then went up to 4,000 and then uh, it did a little pullback right here and I added, I think I got 6,000 or 8,000 shares total. We had a high of 79 false breakout and then I stopped out as it came back down. So that was my best trade of the day right there. It was a clean one. I feel good about that. But overall, today was uh, really not a very easy day. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep an eye on things. I, I don't. I might take another trade later today if we see something that looks good. But it's also possible that I'll just uh, be done here like this. So anyways, uh, that's it for me. And I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. Hey, have you seen my most popular video on YouTube? It's got over 5 million views. You can check it out right here and check out one of my other videos on YouTube right here. I hope you guys enjoy and as always, if you have questions, leave them down below in the comment section. I personally respond to every comment that's posted.